welcome and welcome back to a new vlog i am gabrielle if you new here welcome or welcome back today is monday may 6th and i have been in the house all day <laughs> well not completely all day it's 1 31 um, this morning I got up and I just shot the Dunkin Donuts to get me some coffee and then I went to Kroger's to pick up a few things. I needed some coffee cream, just some random stuff and I really wanted me a salad so that's what I'm about to make me now. But I wanted to come in and start the vlog off. You've been watching my previous vlogs. I had this hair hanging down but how many of y'all like the braids? When you get braids and it feels like like the hair is like prickly in your back like you can feel the little prickly hairs in your back and it itch like that's the only thing i hate about braids is that that part right there and it makes me want to take the braids out sooner because i get tired of that i get tired of and i said this before in the last vlog like when you sleep and your hair get caught and you trying to turn but i'm gonna keep them in because the crazy thing about it it's a love hate relationship with braids because it's like you 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 love them when they're not in your hair because you know how convenient it is to have braids but then it's like when you get them it's like oh <laughs> so yeah but um i'm actually sitting here waiting remember i told y'all owning the home is no joke so yesterday morning i went in the garage and turned the garage light on only to hear well the plug like not the plug the switch was like sizzling like zzz, zzz. I'm like, where is it coming from? Next thing I know, the garage light started like flickering and it just went off. So my husband came out and looked at it and the actual GFI plug, is it GFI? Yeah, GFI plug, which is the one that you can push in to reset. Most garages have to have it and I think kitchens have to have two. That's according to Georgia. Um, it was sizzling. The only thing that's plugged up to it is there is an extension cord that my treadmill is plugged up and it had like a little burn ring around it so we ended up having to turn the actual garage power off through the breaker and we called our the guy who comes and does everything <laughs> so he said that the plug is probably going out like the actual plug and he was explaining it but nonetheless that's something else now that has to be addressed because you cannot play with electrical electrical is one of those things you either gonna see it you're gonna smell it or it's gonna be on fire so you know it's a lot of you I mean, you know behind our walls of course we all know it's a lot of electrical and a lot of plumbing things like that and i don't play around with that so he said he'll be here this afternoon because he have to change the whole gfi plug out so that's something else on the list of unexpected things that happen, but definitely have to be addressed. So that's what I'm doing right now, waiting. But I just wanted to come in and start off today's vlog. I haven't blogged anything because honestly, I have been writing down the things that I need to do this week and kind of getting those together and kind of checking off some much needed things that I've been putting off. So and um i don't like i said i don't have any other plans for this evening because i don't even know what time he's gonna be here and how long that's gonna take and my husband is doing a job in tennessee which he'll be back today um so that's it but just wanted to come on and say hey to you all start the vlog off i'm about to make me a salad and make a couple of phone calls and if, if he comes in enough time or in a decent time, I'll definitely pick y'all up and, you know, we'll, we'll get the explanation of exactly what's going on with that plug together, okay? All right, y'all. <laughs> I just thought about it. Before I make my salad, I wanted to share with you all this coffee cream. Now, if you live here in Georgia, they, they don't sell this at Publix. I know they sell it at Walmart and they sell it at Kroger. When I go actual grocery shopping, I grocery shop at Publix. I go to Kroger for things that Publix don't have, which is this coffee cream. This is my absolute favorite, the Cinnabon coffee cream. So good, my fave. So y'all try it. It tastes literally just like, well, I wouldn't say just like, but it gives your coffee just such a good aroma and taste. I absolutely 
love this carpet cleaner. So I just thought I'd share it with y'all. I bought two because, like I said, I don't frequent Kroger often. So I just kind of, I guess, stocked up because I only bought two. But for me, that's stocking up because I'm the only person that drink it. So, yeah, I just wanted to pop back in and share this coffee cream with you because y'all got to try this. It's so good. Hey, baby, baby, from the day I saw you, I really, really want to catch your eye. There's something special about you, and I must really like you. Cause not a lot of guys are worth my time. washed my hands after I just wiped the door down sprayed for the weeds and the cracks now the guys here cleaning the carpet and then I'm still waiting on the electrician because he didn't even show up yesterday but I did want to come in and start off the vlog and say hey happy Tuesday um that's about it I'm actually not going anywhere today I did run to I had to fax papers like girl who still fax papers in 2024 but anyway, I had to fax some papers and I had to go to the grocery store because we didn't have any butter for me to make dinner tonight. Well, we didn't have any in the house, period. So, but that's about all that I'm doing today. Nothing major. Tomorrow, I got to get up and go get an oil change and we're going to be out and about. We finally tomorrow are going to go to that uh, furniture consignment store that I was telling y'all about on Sunday's vlog. I am so curious to get in that store. So we're going to do that um, tomorrow because we'll be out early. So, and I threw my hair up in this bun because y'all saw it was like down on my neck. I'm over it at this point. So, all right, y'all. I don't want to hold y'all. It's about to get loud in here anyway. I, you know, I had to get my carpet clean after that guy. Well, not after, but the guys that came and fixed the leak. They were like going up and down the stairs, up and down the stairs with their shoes on. So... Got to get my carpet clean and I ordered, well, I'm about to order some shoe booties. Like, you know, for when people do come and do work, you could just slip on a, the booties and, you know. So, all right, y'all. Good morning, y'all. So I'm coming in really quick. Just wanted to give y'all an OOTD. Start today's vlog off. Today is Wednesday. I think it's May 9th. I think today is May 9th. I'm kind of rushing because I'm on my way out the door to go get an oil change. But um, decided to put on my Target t-shirt that I'm wearing for the first time. I should have got it in a large. I got it in an extra large, but... As I wear it, it'll shrink. <laughs> then my you seen my little Target bag that I picked up some time ago. I don't even remember where I got these jeans from. I know that I had to get them tailored because they were too long. 
but I honestly don't remember where I got them from. And then you have remembered that I picked these shoes up some time ago from Dillard's. And I just thought the little pop of color with the orange in the shoe. Can y'all see that? No, I can't see that. With the orange <laughs> and the shoe looked cute. Kind of like a little hippie vibe, you know? And then I got on my little glasses that I got from Target. I got a couple of different necklaces on. Um, of course, you know, one of them is my real, my real necklace, which is this one. I think the other two I got from Amazon and what else? Oh, y'all never seen this, but this is my first wedding band when we first got married. Um, and I just wear it. I got it sized for this finger. So every now and again, I put it on. I usually, I used to wear it all the time, but I don't know why I don't wear it as much as I used to, but yeah, this is my first wedding band from the first ring that I had and then I upgraded and then hopefully I'll be upgrading again because I've had this ring for some years now. So, and if you don't know, me and my husband been married, it'll be 13 years in November. <laughs> I'll tell y'all a story about that. I don't think I ever told y'all a story about that, but I'll fill y'all in on that. But all right, it's after 10. My oil change appointment is at 1030. I think we're going to make it to finally make it to the um the furniture what is it the furniture store that I was telling you about that does like resale and things like that like a consignment furniture store I do want to try them out oh I want to see about them and yeah so again I just want to come in and show y'all my little OOTD today is Wednesday and we are out the door all right y'all <laughs> all right uh -oh. women to blast y'all out <laughs> but we just made it to the oil change place i was just on the phone with my husband telling him how much i hate coming up here to get my oil changed because you be here for hours nobody came out to greet me so i guess i gotta go in so i'll pick y'all up once i go in dirty south dirty dirty can y'all really feel it well east coast feel it. west coast feel it. uh-huh now even though my appointment was at 10 30 and i got there about 10 35 but nonetheless oil change is done um they always trying to tell you that you need stuff that you don't need girl why they try to tell me four tires for my car is 2600 dollars now mind you don't get me wrong you know i know the type of vehicle that i have i know you know having a luxury car comes with the luxury tag <laughs> you know what i'm saying like oh ma'am she ain't even looking you just about to take my whole front of my car off on the damn phone all right y'all sorry anyway like i was saying i know having a luxury vehicle comes with the luxury price tag meaning you know oil changers are more than it would be in a typical car not i'm not gonna say typical but you know a non-luxury car gas um you know things like that i've had a few luxury cars before this one so i'm kind of used to it but i'm not paying 2600 dollars for no freaking tire my husband got a friend that has a place that i know i can get them cheaper than that but 2600 dollars, come on y'all 
but anyway um, I don't think that I'm going to be able to go to the consignment store today it's not that I'm not able to go it's just that I really now don't even feel like going because it's after one o'clock I don't want to be caught in traffic it then became a very gloomy day so it's making me feel like I don't want to go <laughs> I'm not in the mood let me just say that the day has kind of like just turned into an ugly day so I know me and my husband talked earlier about getting pizza for dinner so that's what we're gonna be having for dinner so I'm not cooking tonight I cooked a couple of nights in a row so I'm not cooking tonight but I think I'm about to actually go and grab me some sushi I haven't had sushi in a while and I was over here near the only place that I really like to get sushi from and they close at 2 30 so I think I'm about to go in here and get some sushi because I don't want to eat too too heavy for um, lunch because we having pizza for dinner so yeah but I just wanted to come in and check in with y'all I've, I've been checking in periodically here and there I know I really haven't been um, blogging the way I'm supposed to honestly because I hadn't been doing that nothing yesterday oh I didn't even tell y'all yesterday was just such a busy day the guy came to clean my carpet the electrician who was supposed to come didn't come so my the day before so my husband had to find somebody else which in turn um, they ended up coming at the same time so the guy was there to clean the carpet at the same time as the electrician and also the people who comes to um, like do the pooper scooper for not pooper scooper but they clean up the poop from my dog every Tuesday they were there at the same time so it was a lot going on like all of a sudden so I really couldn't vlog like I wanted to and then once they left um, I really didn't do much of anything because I didn't have anywhere to go or nothing to do so I don't even think I picked up the camera I don't think but I did get a few Amazon packages I told you all or show or kind of typed it on the screen on the last vlog that I ordered some knobs for my bathroom vanity those came yesterday and I ordered uh, some shoes from Amazon all the hype that everybody has been you know pretty much wearing and all the people got them some people got the real expensive ones I opted for the real real cheap ones okay and I'm glad I did because this, I think this is going to be more of a fad I don't even think next summer this is going to be a thing so I'll show you those when I get to the house and that's all I picked up I'm trying to think what else is around here that I could go to it's not that I, I don't want to go home necessarily but at the same time I don't want to go too far from home because I just feel like it's going to pour down at any moment. It is very gloomy out here. And y'all know Atlanta traffic when it rained. Oh, I broke my nail yesterday, which I never break nails. Like when I tell you, I am very rarely do I break a nail. And I was getting my food from the porch from DoorDash and my nail got caught in the doggone doorknob. So luckily my nail appointment is friday but all right y'all i'm about to go in here and grab me some sushi and then we'll see where we gonna go from there
back home. It's still fairly early in the day. I just got on this lounge set because I'm not going any. First, of, I told y'all it was looking cloudy, right? I did tell y'all that because when I was at um, Fumi getting sushi, I was telling y'all it was a cloudy day. I just was telling my youngest daughter, like, here it is. I didn't came home. It's cloudy, looking ugly. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm about to chill. I'm not a sun out. But I just wanted to show y'all these little shoes, which I'm sure y'all seen. Everybody had these little mesh shoes that I got from um, Amazon. These were only $26. I was not spending a whole bunch of money. I really also could have sized up. This is a size nine. I probably could have did a nine and a half. But I mean, for $26, I probably wear these. <laughs> A few times and not really care but they're cute I've seen quite a few people on um, YouTube had them some people I saw had the like real expensive ones that had like the little stones in them stuff like that they're cute but again I told y'all these I told y'all yeah earlier that I feel like this shoe or this style like mesh shoe won't be a thing next year we'll be on to something new so and then I showed my husband this morning. He said they remind him of the shoes that we used to get back from. Well, I didn't because I never bought any. But the girls used to wear from the beauty supply store. And I ain't going to lie. I had to agree. <laughs> because that's exactly what they look like. But they're cute as a little, you know, a little something to an outfit. Just to give the, the vibes of your, you know, you know, the trends type of thing. But. I don't think these are going to be around long, you know, but they're comfortable. I just don't like, the only reason I feel like I should have sized up is because it's an exact fit. Like, it's exact. It's not that it's too tight. It's not uncomfortable or anything like that, but it is definitely an exact fit. I'll link them below. They have the same style shoe, the exact same style shoe for like 50 something dollars. They have them in quite a different, I guess, amount. But to me, I got the cheapest ones because again, I feel like I don't think it's going to be a thing next year. So I'll link them below. And then also the knobs for my bathroom vanity came and I'll be putting those on a little later. So all right, y'all, I'm about to go down here and chill. I'm kind of pissed that the doggone sun then came out and I came home and it's so early in the afternoon. So, anyway, we'll be out tomorrow doing something. Tomorrow is Friday Eve, so we'll be out of here tomorrow. All right, y'all, bye. So, I am ready to open up these knobs. That I told y'all that I got for the half bath. I know I could have went to like Lowe's, Home Depot, anywhere to pick up knobs, but these were a little different, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. They weren't like anything that I saw on anybody else's. Well, I know that they don't have them at Lowe's for sure. They may have them at Home Depot, but I highly doubt it. So we're opening them together. I bought my hair up in this, I don't know, it's doing something, it's, it's doing its own thing over here, and it's doing something over here, nonetheless, it's off my back, <laughs> so let's see what these look like. Gosh, they can make sure they... Excuse me, make sure they securely packed. Sheesh. Okay, now. So, they're this, like, half circle, which I thought would be cute. Because I didn't want nothing, like, too big, but then I didn't want nothing, like, too, I don't know. I mean, these are basic, but... I just didn't want anything like too big. I just wanted it to be just a little black to kind of bring out the black that's already in there. So, I 
this is what they look like. Cute, right? I knew they didn't have anything like this at Lowe's or Home Depot. So, I mean, like I said, they may have had it at Home Depot. Highly, highly doubt it. But I got these from, y'all already know, Amazon. And I'll definitely link them below if you need some knobs that are a little, you know, a little different. So I'm about to put these on and then I'll show y'all what they look like on. <laughs> Cute. Okay, y'all see what I currently have on there. These are so old. And I switched these out from like the manufacturer knobs. We're about to get these off. Not that, you know, anything is wrong with them like that. They just don't go, you know? So hopefully I can just be able to use the same screw. I really need to invest in a um, power screwdriver. Okay, so the screw won't work. Of course it wouldn't, right? And in that pack, it gives you two different sizes. So I'm gonna use the shorter one because I don't need that long one. But where did that other one go? Oh, I see. So this is the old screw compared to the new screw. So the new screw is much smaller. Y'all probably curious as to why my husband don't do any of this. I know y'all are. I know y'all are. And I told y'all in the previous vlog, I've been doing, I've been living on my own and like remodeling homes and like redoing homes since I was, I moved out on my own when I was 18-ish, 19. And my first place, my first place was my great, it was in Detroit. If anybody know, I lived off of Liver Noise. <laughs> Liver Noise in 96. Back then it wasn't the hood though. I'm saying it was not the hood. Kind of like over there by like Michigan Avenue. It wasn't the hood then, but it was my great uncle's duplex. I lived upstairs. He lived downstairs. He had Alzheimer's. And it was old. That was actually the place that my mom and her siblings came home from the hospital in. So that house had been in our family for many, many years. I was only like 19 years old. 19 years old, y'all. I redid all the bathroom. It was only one bathroom. So I redid the bathroom, new floor, new vanity, new toilet, new tile, new everything in the bathroom. Bathroom redo, redone. I redid the kitchen. Um, I redid, in the kitchen I had new countertops, new sink, new appliances, new cabinets. I painted the whole place, new carpet, new flooring. And I was only 19 years old. I've been doing this like, and this is my thing. I love, love, love this. So no shade to my husband. This just ain't his thing. It's mine. So I own it. See that? All right, let me do the other one and then I'll pick y'all back up. <laughs> something small I didn't want anything like really really big because eventually probably this vanity at some point will <laughs> be replaced as well 
This was a little cheap little something that I just kind of did when we were redoing the bathroom. But I think it looks cute for now, for what it is. And let me move the toilet uh, thing over here because I had, I had y'all propped up over here. So put that back. But yeah, so that kind of completes the look of now <laughs> the bathroom. And I will link these below, like I said, if you all are interested in, you know, just a little something to add to your bathroom. So that's that. All right, y'all. Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> good morning, y'all. Today is Thursday. I don't even know today is the ninth, I think. I think I told y'all yesterday was the ninth, but I, I don't know. I think today is the ninth. Nonetheless, today is Thursday, May something. Okay. And it's about 10 36 to be exact. And we out of there. We out the house. We gone. I've been up and dressed since probably like before nine o'clock. Cause I told you I get it right Please up and say get a it. search term. I'm not talking to you. I told y'all I get right up and get my clothes on. But I told y'all yesterday that I wanted to go to the furniture consignment store. And it was looking all gloomy outside. But then the sun ended up coming out. And I was like, you know what? I was already in the house. Had took my clothes off and put me a little lounge set on. So I wasn't going anywhere else. But it stormed this morning. So at first I was like, well, I'm just going to stay in the house. So when I got dressed, I just kind of threw on this t-shirt and some leggings. And I look a mess. But then the sun kind of peeked out a little bit. And I was like, ooh. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go. So that's where we're going. We're finally going to make our way to the furniture consignment shop. Um, I'm looking for, you already know, I'm looking for some chairs for my kitchen table. But I just like to go to places like this. So, you know. And then I had to get out of there, girl. My daughter made me mad this morning. They always, it's just something about having girls. I told y'all, I'm an only child. My mom only had me. So in my household, my father wasn't around. So it was just me and my mom. So I, I didn't have a sister or a sibling or anything like that to argue with or for them to take my stuff or anything. So I didn't get that feel actually until I had my own kids. They're girls. So I had to go through that whole, you know, them coming and taking my stuff and not so much wearing my clothes or anything like that. Now, my oldest daughter... My youngest daughter, she can't fit any of my clothes or my shoes. But my youngest daughter, I mean, my, yeah, my youngest daughter can't. But my oldest daughter, we basically wear the same size shoe, kind of like the same size clothes. She, She's the one that bugs me about my clothes. But they get on each other and use each other's stuff. So she was mad this morning that my youngest daughter had used all of her washing powder. She's 20, she'll be 23 in um, July. So of course, you know, they both work. My youngest daughter, 17. So I make them buy like their little personal things. Now there's washing powder, of course, for them to use. However, you know, they, they're responsible for buying their own personal stuff. <laughs> so she didn't use her stuff, but they use each other stuff. But the one thing about my oldest daughter is, baby, one thing about her, she gonna treat you the way she don't wanna be treated, okay? Did y'all don't let that go over y'all heads? She will treat you the way she don't want to be treated. That's just her. I don't. It, it just burns me up. Like it's crazy. But um, yeah. So she made me mad this morning, acting like that. But um, acting the way she was acting. Once I leave this furniture consignment store, I'm going to go to get some stuff to I was gonna fry some chicken today but I don't feel like all of that so I think I'm gonna do that Sunday for Sunday's dinner so I'm gonna get some stuff to make some tacos I want some I want tacos my husband wants nachos so that's what we'll be having for dinner today oh my back itch so that's what we'll be having for dinner today some easy breezy and that's about it so yeah but I just wanted to come in and start off today say hey good morning and it's Friday Eve. So I'll pick y'all back up once we get to the um, furniture consignment store. I don't even know. I think it's called Consignment Depot or something like that. I'm not even exactly for sure of the name. But once I um, 
once I get there, of course, I'll pick y'all up. So I'll see y'all when we get there. furniture consignment store that I wanted to go in didn't find anything I did no I take that back I did see like this pottery pottery barn kids um it was like a 3d kind of I don't want to call it a picture because it's not a picture but it is wall decor and it like had the shapes but the shapes like stuck out from the picture it was like this pretty blush pink that I could have used to put in my daughter my oldest daughter bathroom because pink is her pretty her favorite color even though she'll be moving out soon <laughs> she already looking at apartments but um like I told her I had showed it she was like you don't have to get it I'm like the bathroom is going to be fixed up whether or not you're using it or not <laughs> so but I opted not to get it because eh, it wasn't like it has to be drawn like I have it has to like speak to me speak to me you know then I went, it was like this antique, y'all saw that, it was, um, I think it was called like Chambly Antique Interiors or something like that. Girl, that place was so damn scary. Oh, I walked around just to kind of like, but as I kept walking, it just felt creepier and creepier. Now I know antiques, in my mind, when I think of an antique store, I always think like, you know, if someone deceased or... I don't know it I never felt like I think about it yes but I felt it like presence of deceased people in there or something like it was it, it just wasn't a good vibe I wouldn't have bought anything out of there so right down the street from there was my actual favorite consignment store they sell a little bit of everything in here I love this place if you are in the Atlanta area it is on Shambly Dunwoody Road and I think that's Peachtree Boulevard. It's literally right around the corner from CB2 Outlet for those who live here in Atlanta. It's called um, Sim Simple Finds, the best. Like they have some very nice pieces. I'll take y'all through here. Y'all been here with me before. I've gotten quite a few things out of here, but um, let's go see what they got. I always find the best stuff in here. I was telling my, my vlog that. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Yes. Love that. Yes. Gotta change it up a bit. <laughs> Keep it looking fresh. Yes. You can call if you need it. Okay, thank you.
something about the way that you talk to me Even when you're not around, I feel you, boy I feel you, boy Take with your love and your energy Perhaps it was the way that you smile I see you, boy Oh, I need you, boy Hey y'all, so I am back home only to come home and my freaking patio look a disaster. Let me show y'all. <sighs> Hold on y'all. Look at this. Patio cover on the floor. What did we have? A little mini tornado over here? It looks a mess. I might as well not even cover it back up because I think we kind of over pollen season, but I really don't even want none of this stuff anymore. Look at that bug over there. Let me kill him just because I see him and I don't want him to be nowhere on me come summertime. Summertime. I mean, this looks a mess. Oh, now I got to wait till all this stuff dry.
Ugh, this is a mess. This is a freaking mess. Look how the pollen just ruined my rug. I'm hopefully I'm gonna get a broom and stuff. Like you see where the pollen. This is how bad the pollen is in Georgia, y'all. So I'm gonna have to get a broom or something. And I'm gonna get some power wash and scrub this once I get ready to set up all my patio stuff. But go ahead and end this vlog right here because guess what i don't have nothing else going on i'm about to sit and actually edit today's vlog because it's already after two o'clock so i want to make sure that i get this done and get it out to you all today later on maybe about six or so i'm just about to cook some tacos my husband's gonna eat nachos i think i told y'all that earlier in the vlog i didn't pick up anything i didn't find anything um worth getting i went to home goods i went to to the antique stores that i showed you all and i didn't find anything and one of those antique stores i think i did tell one of those antique stores scared the hell out of me i don't know it it, it, it was giving me bad vibes i think i told y'all that but um yeah so we're just gonna end it right here i got nothing else to vlog today we're gonna pick up fresh tomorrow not sure exactly what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I do know that I have a nail appointment tomorrow at 3. So I'll take y'all along with me to the nail shop so we can get ready to leave next week. Me and my husband going on a little few day vacation. No work involved other than probably I'm sure he's going to be answering his phone and things like that because, you know, he's a business owner. So work really don't stop for him. And I'll probably edit and I'll, of course, be vlogging that. So yeah, so I'll pick y'all back up tomorrow, but in the meantime, in between time, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all the subscribers. I've gotten so many subscribers, y'all. I am over 700 subscribers. That may sound small to somebody, but for me, that is a big feat. I am, I'm, I'm very, very, very grateful. I'm so appreciative for y'all, you know, taking the time out to leave the most nicest the most i just like y'all are so cool y'all cool as hell okay y'all cool as hell y'all is leaving me the best comments the best suggestions and i really appreciate y'all i really appreciate even if you haven't subscribed and you watching and just leaving a comment whatever the case may be if you see in my face i appreciate you because you took the time to at least watch and if you have not subscribed please go ahead hit the subscribe button it'll be right here and yeah so that's all i got again thank you 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 so much for watching so much for subscribing and i'll see y'all tomorrow well i'll see y'all sunday but i'll see y'all on the next one bye